Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating an MSI installer for your c .net application using Visual Studio 2022. This guide will help you package your application into a professional installer, making it easy to distribute and install on other machines. So whether you are preparing for deployment or just want to streamline the installation process, this step-by-step -step tutorial will get you there in about 10 minutes. So let's get it. So before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it as well. Yes, to get started, obviously make sure you've got Visual Studio 2022 installed. Let's get started by launching our Visual Studio 2022 and continue with our code here. Yeah? So once you open the Visual Studio, come to the extensions and then manage extension. So make sure you have you have internet because we're going to we're going to select this here. Yeah? We're going to set search our set our project. So, th so this is what we're going to need. This is a Microsoft Visual Studio installer project. So this extension provides the same functionality that currently exists in Visual Studio 2019 for Visual Studio installer project. Yeah. Make sure you 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 click on install. So once once the download is completed, make sure. You, you you close the Visual Studio for the installation to start and follow the on-screen ins installation process and once that is complete yeah let's come back to the Visual Studio we're going to start by creating an, a project a new project okay so this project we're going to create a desktop project so let's go to our project types and select desktop here yeah? And let's look for C Sharp WPF application. So we're going to select C Sharp WPF application, okay? And here, obviously, you can configure all the project details, yeah. But we're not going to look too much into that. So click on the next and create the project. So as you can see here now, we've got a basic WPF application created project created for us yeah so this is what we're going to do we're going to add some few stuff to it so let's go ahead by just adding a background to the to, to the main window so you can select whatever color that you want okay uh, let me put something colorful so let's put Indian red and then Inside here, let's put something like a label. And let's write something. First, WPF app with MSI installer. So let's put something like this, okay? And let's save it. Let's save it. And let's go ahead and build the project. So right click the project and build. So once we've got the build completed here, yeah, let's have a look. Let's go and rebuild, rebuild project. So we have the rebuild completed here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and right click on the solution and add new project. So here, as you can see, we've got desktop selected. So let's go back and, and put it back on our project here. Yeah. And let's go ahead and select um, set up set up project here. Yeah? So this is what we're looking for. Select it and click on the next 
So here you can give you can give it a name, and I'll call it YT video for YouTube video. Yeah, and I click on the create. So once you 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 create it for the first time, yeah, this is what you get. Okay. So let's go ahead and do um, um, uh, do some configuration, okay? So as you can see here now, we've got this file system open yeah, uh, automatically. But if you don't have it open automatically, go ahead and and right click on the on the on the setup project video. You go to video, I mean in view, and then you click on the file system, okay? So this file system, this will open this this file or this dialog. So as you can see here, uh, on the file system here, yeah, we have application folder, um, users desktop, and then the users program menu. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We right click on the applications folder, right click and then add project output okay so we select the application folder and then add project output so here we select the primary output and then we leave it as it is so this contains the DLL or the executable built by the project okay so here we have this configuration we for now we're just going to leave it as it is yeah, and click on okay so as you can see here now we've got the, the primary output so here on the primary output you right click it and then click on the create shortcut yeah and then we call the shortcut my desk app yeah for just desktop yeah i'm just going to copy it yeah so this is what we have here so we we, we we drag it and and drop it inside the user um, users program menu so we right click it here again we create another shortcut yeah put the same name and then we drag it and we, we drop it inside the users um, desktop okay so we have it here we have one here and we have one here so on the application folder again create one more shortcut and we leave it as it is for now yeah so this is what we have here now so to customize your setup um, your, 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 your setup you can right click on the um, on the setup project and click on the properties so here you can make changes to the the properties type I mean, you can make changes to whatever you want. Yeah, but as we're not looking too much into this, so we're just going to click on OK. OK. So now this is what we're going to do. We're going to right click on the on the, um, on the setup project and then build it. So once the build is, is completed, yeah, we right click on the project again. And then we go into the open folder in File Explorer. So we open it here and we go to debug. So as we can see here now, we've got the setup file here. So we can select it. And as you can see here now, we've got we've got uh, the MSI wizard here. So we can follow the installation process. And then here you can select whatever that is applicable to you. Okay, so here you can install it for yourself or for anyone who uses the computer. So let's put it on for everyone and click on the next. And then here everything is ready. So we go ahead and click on next again. So, so this will actually go ahead and install it. So as you can see here now, uh, the um, application has been installed successfully. So let's close it, minimize it. And come back. So as you can see here now, we have the app is here now. Well, that's my my desktop app. Okay. So um, I won't complicate you too much. So I'll leave this video here for now. Yeah. So 
once again go ahead and then have a look again so have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace